it's don't don't hit it just yet. I'm, I just want to say this, and then we'll and then we'll, it's, it's it's up. I can't. Okay. No. Nope. No. 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 Well, we'll wait till after. Just remind me. I got something I need to tell you. And I got something to say. Let me see. Now the question is: I see that it's there. Mm-hmm. Yes, live for YouTube. What's up, y'all? Let's see the echo, the echo. for YouTube. What's up, y'all? Let's see what it is. Yep. And uh, I don't know why this is showing offline. That's strange. But hey, YouTube is showing it. I mean, yeah, YouTube is showing it. So we'll see mm-hmm. what's good with uh, mm-hmm. Facebook. Uh, can, can can you can you please um, go here? So peace to y'all. If you're on Facebook live, I haven't been able to check mines yet to see. Mm-hmm. So pardon me. Mm-hmm. I am hitting this other button. And this other button. Yeah. Peace to that crew. Peace to this crew. Bring on the yeah, tour. There it is. We'll see you at a theater near you. <laughs> yeah, we're here. You there? We're here. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right. That's good. I'm on my share game. You feel me? You uh-huh. feel me? Oh, yo, look at this. This joint is telling me how many people are on it. Okay. Oh, That's lovely. Cool. I like that. This other thing, this other, the thing that we use to make it go out mm-hmm. is showing me the numbers. That's good. I, I, clearly, I always switch it off and never see that. Mm-hmm. You know, Facebook is, is, has I been. I ain't talking about Facebook. I'm talking about the thing we pay for, the other thing, to push it out. Oh, oh okay. That, okay. Oh, yeah. that's nice. That's showing everything, all the stuff. Oh. Hey, y'all, I, I, are we just having a conversation like you're not there? Sorry. <laughs> and look, and look, Quest. Yeah. I'm, I'm testing which way my head is going. <laughs> Are you doing this again? <laughs> yeah. Oompa oompa. Yeah. <laughs> oompa loompa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, y'all. I, I hope you're doing well. Uh, What's up, y'all? <laughs> we, yeah. Move forward. Move backward to the back, to the left, to the right. Stand up. Sit down. Sit back. Uh, left to me. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why you don't give dudes cameras and in power yeah. no this they is exactly what happened especially dudes like us this is the reason why because we don't know how to act Lord. this is why you absolutely need to be at sandy cove yeah the second to the last weekend at the marriage conference the marriage oh. full circle ministries dot co com yeah no doubt that's why because the dude ain't seen the dude in 29 years it's gonna be crazy off the top it's, it's gonna be i'm telling you <laughs> off the t- top of the road. Yeah, let me just rub my eye real quick because that right there. <laughs> Millie, it's go, yo. Uh, yeah. All right, Quest, before I get out of hand, and then, you know, if I get out of hand, then you just, it's no yes, sir. coming yes, back for you. So, yes. yeah, I don't need no help. None Let's whatsoever. Not, not do this anymore. Let's just go ahead and get to the business. Yeah. Yes. Yep. All right, happy uh, Thursday, y'all. It's February 1, 2018. And uh, my man Quest is, is ready for y'all. Uh, once he gives me the green light, we're going to go ahead and uh, yeah. uh, set up the audio yeah. so that uh, everybody on iHeartRadio and TuneIn will be able to experience the, the full broadcast version. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. for, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, we are allowing you into the back room <laughs> while yeah. we produce um the marriage ain't for suckers program every absolutely single. and uh so when we sound like we know what we're talking about that means that we are live on air yeah uh, for those who are expecting us yeah on iheart radio and yeah every everything else is anything just else. us is cutting the fool yeah, everything else, you know, <laughs> when we talk about silly stuff. That means we're not on. Yeah, we're not on. We're not on. Yeah, give me two seconds. Let me get this right and on. Then we'll be on. In. Yes, and then we'll be on. When we talk, start talking like we have some sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about uh, that. So, yeah. yeah. So, we're going to be in the same room, Quest. <laughs> oh, bro. And Son, what? you were you were a lot skinnier, and I was a lot skinnier, and a lot oh, yeah. looking oh, the yeah. last time we yeah. actually connected like that yeah we carrying a lot yeah we carrying a lot more weight now and, yeah uh, but it's I, good weight it's good weight it's good weight it's good weight yeah you know it's good weight it's good weight and let me tell you I something didn't have all this though i had like one long hair when yeah. i was when i was oh no you had 
you had yeah. poof, you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah oh, up here. Yeah. It was, I had that fro. Oh, bro. And Man, she, all, you know, she was beautiful too. Yeah, it's gone, man. I cut it. It's gone. Yeah. I'll shave it again. This my scrape it every day, Quest. Yeah. 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 So uh yeah, we're making small talk till <laughs> until Quest. One more. One more. One more. I got here. Just hold on. Be with me one second, right? Be with me right here. No, don't. 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 Uh, don't, don't do the Barry. Don't do the, the, the don't do the Barry White. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying don't get started because then okay. all right. Yep. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, y'all. So uh, bear with us quiet on the set quest. We're going to yep. go ahead and, and get started like we have since. Yeah. Uh, quiet on the set. Here we go. Yep. Peace, y'all. Let's share. Hey, yo, Quest, it's time to give the people something, man. What are we talking about today? Ah, uh, yep. Because I could do it in the mix. It ain't a problem that I can't fix. <laughs> <laughs> what it do, y'all? Welcome to another edition of the Marriage Jane for Suckers podcast. I am your host with the most, Quest, alongside my man, my mellow, my mellow, my man, L. David. Harris. Kick, 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 get on the mic. NMC. What up, though? <laughs> Dudes, thank look, you. They had too much sugar today. Yeah, man. thank you. Thank you. Actually, actually, I'm doing great. I cut the, sh I'm, I'm lowering the sugar. Shouts out to Tim Morris and uh, Demetrius Flowers, who are uh, my accountability. I got some. Man, if I if I ain't let the Lord, I would have some cuss words for them dudes. Oh boy, man! Yeah, yeah. Shots out to uh, Beach Body. You know what I'm saying for uh, the shift shop. I'm they're gonna really have to pay. Man. They're gonna have to pay for that one, Quest. Oh, they're gonna have to pay. Yeah, sh they're gonna have to pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shoot the check over because y'all making mad money right now. I know Listen, they are. I told Quest when I see him, he better don't have a belly. I hate the shift shop, and I ain't got too much of a belly now. But I understand. Yeah. I need to get in shape, man. I stopped playing ball. Like for real, a couple of years ago, D after I snapped my Achilles, and my wife was not a happy camper. Dude. She was not a happy camper. So yeah, man, she's been quite, you know what I'm saying, upset about that. But but as always, man, welcome, man, welcome everybody. You know right what I'm up. saying to another edition. Yup, yup. Class is on. in S -s -s session. Session. You feel me? Yeah. Yes, indeed. So yeah, man. Hope we gonna say something today, man, that'll help y'all move towards a better place. Think differently about the way that you are betrothed or the way <laughs> that you want to move towards betrothment. You uh, know what I'm saying? Just say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the good thing is though, let me tell you something. Shouts out to Nico, man. Nico has been getting it in with me and oh, yeah? doing probably a better job than I am at five years old, man. I've been watching him and just, you know, instructed him. I ain't really say nothing to him. I may touch him once or twice, but his mm -hmm. form or his push-up game. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Right. I mean, for five years old. So he's doing a wonderful job there. So shouts out to him, man. Um, yeah, man. Life is good, though. Yeah. What's, what's going on on the Harris side? Yeah, I'm just here, man. I'm, I'm ready to go. I, you know, life is life. Yeah. You know? And uh, I'm getting yeah. ready for a uh, big series, uh, net2018.org for information Ooh. on that. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I don't have a lot to say because I know how deep we get in the day, bro. So I'm going to just, I'm going to pause I'm, on the I'm, rest of that. I'm mad at Pierre Louis. Pierre Louis said, <laughs> rest in peace to the hairline. <laughs> yeah, speak for yourself, homie. Big John. Yeah, John P, right. speak for yourself. My, my, mine ain't gone yet, John, but she definitely on life support. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah, don't don't let yeah, don't yeah. You see that? Speaks speak for yourself, Big John. You got a little shine there along the line. You know, so I'm holding off. Forget forget y'all. I still got a little bit of this. You know I'm what I'm saying? Doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Ah, uh, let's get in, man. Shots out to Breathe University, man. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Take Control Entrepreneurship Series starts in Miami, Florida. Yeah, uh, I believe next weekend. Um, oh man, it's going down. Uh, a lot of speakers are coming out of the. Uh, um, uh, ETA household, if you will. Um, a couple of brothers that are, are dynamic speakers already. Um, y- y'all know about um, um, you know Jeremy and, a, and 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 Willie Mo and you know what I'm saying I've I've done the gone as far the as to enter myself into although I you know speak on a regular basis I've decided to go ahead and become a part of the Game Changers family within ETA. Why yeah. not, man? If you Why not, a, you might as well you know saying take advantage. When I heard that uh, Denzel Washington had a coach. I was like, oh. Oh, it's in, it's on. Ain't oh, no, it's man, on. ain't no love lost, man. Ain't Everybody not. can improve. Everybody can learn new techniques. Oh, no doubt. And I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. And so you'll a lot of see of them come out of there this year, ETA certify, Game Changers certify. So if you want more information on the Take Control Entrepreneur Series, I think the first couple of cities is Miami, um, then Atlanta, then Charlotte, and then there's another city. I think LA is one of those cities as well, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. then we'll see a couple more cities pop up as um, as we get invited or as we plan them in the city. So for more information on that, or if you want to become, um, for real, a better husband or wife, or you want to make your marriage better, because you know I lean towards the thank God I'm married division. Why? You know, because your boy's the director. So You know something about it. I'm biased. I'm biased. Yeah. Really, yeah, I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But seriously, guys, if you want more info or you want to become a part of the BU family, stop by www.breatheuniversity.com or Word. if you want information on the tickets and the, the, the conferences or events coming up, stop by www.etinspires.com forward slash events. Word up. Well, today's program is brought to you by Audible. Get your free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash marriage. Mm-hmm. More than 180,000 titles from which to choose for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Mm-hmm. And today, I think we will recommend What's the book? No what's the, what's the book? Within, A Life in Transition by yours truly, but voiced by the incomparable Dorothy Devers. She's been in the game longer than either of us have been alive, and we are pushing 45. So, mm-hmm. yeah, she's been in the game a, a minute. Mm-hmm. And uh, so respect to Dorothy, Miss Dorothy, and yeah. uh, Silver Screen loves her, and definitely the voice tracks love her. Indeed. So, good Christian, you know, nice, wonderful Christian woman down from down south mm-hmm. in that uh, everything's bigger in Texas land. No doubt. And, uh, yeah, she did, she did an excellent job. So let's go get to her. Yeah, man. Real quick, man. I am asking all of our dedicated and Mm -hmm. loyal listeners Mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? Members of the, you know what I'm saying? Maths gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I almost said, I almost want to say mass gang, mass gang. You know what I'm saying? I can't say it though. Like to join Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. (laughs) But I'm asking all of, all of our loyal listeners, all the maps, M-A-F-S, the marriage ain't for suckers family. If you would go by, if you're listening via iTunes and leave us a review, I forgot what number we're currently at, but we are definitely trying to break the 100 mark because that puts us in a new place as it relates to iTunes in a more visible place so that we can go ahead and continue to assist and help these marriages move from wherever they are. Like I said before, shaky to good, good to great, and ultimately to phenomenal. So please do go by, leave us a review, um, and you will help us, man, get to that place, man, where we can uh, actually change the game as it relates to marriage on this podcast thing and um, get the support and, and, and assist with some others with support that uh, some may desperately need. So yeah, man. yeah, man, I saw that we, uh, we got a six to one ratio. I don't know if I showed you that, if you saw that picture I sent you six to one, man, 6.2 yeah. or whatever to one. Yeah. 
Yep. One person, every one person that's listening, six people are downloading. downloading. Yes, indeed. That's an incredible. I've done a lot of programs, but I've never seen it flipped upside down like that. Yeah. And, 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 and for so that, people are taking us thanks. with you, man. Yep. Can you imagine? Yep. The special thanks goes out to like, for real, the listeners, because they are the ones who are, uh, who have created that six to one ratio. So right now up. what we're asking for you guys to do is please go by and leave us a review right. and, um, so we can get to that new spot. Word. Yes, well, let's did. go, man. Let's yep. get it. Yep. What well, we talking about today? As we gonna get today. Yep. <laughs> let's yep. go. Yeah, I, I I doubt that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what we talk about today, D? Yeah, save your marriage quest. Yep. Yep. We're taking charge of inherited and cultivated inclinations. Ooh. Save yourselves. It's really save your marriage. Ooh. Taking charge yeah, of taking inherited it. and cultivated inclinations. Yeah. Yep. I want to tell your friends to come hit this this yeah. link. Hurry up. Yeah. It's if about to, to be on. Yeah. If today is a day, um, and I'm we we're gonna let D, we we're gonna force D to dip into his psych background today. Well, I just said force, cause yeah, no, yeah, no, we're gonna force you to do that today. Today, because uh really and truly, uh, it, 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 it when I do conferences, D, one of the first things I I, I tell them is, and I you know, there's an the exercise that I use. But mm. information changes situations. Let yeah. me let me say that a little bit differently, um, because you can have information and don't do nothing with it. True, indeed. Yeah. But information applied changes situations. Mm-hmm. And D, what I've learned is that there are decisions that need to be made across a, 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 an array of different things. But because we're mm-hmm. talking in the context of marriage, there are a number of decisions that you need to make in your marriage what to do, what not to do. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the reasons you make a decision, and it's not always a good decision because you don't have all the information necessary to make that good decision. When I had this last, shouts out to the, the, the fellas on the prayer line. We had a, yeah. a, a crazy conversation this week on some you know neurological stuff and taking ownership. But what triggered the whole thing, um, David, was, uh, I don't know if everybody has heard, but I was listening to a piece that Will Smith did this week. And the actor? The about actor. The yeah, okay. the Will Smith, the actor. And yeah. what Will Smith was talking about, he, he was talking about a conversation that him and another friend were having and mm. how that conversation was dealing with fault and responsibility mm-hmm. <laughs> and the differences between the two. Now, he was saying that it is not our fault that we were raised the way that we were raised. It was not True. our fault that... The, the, the involuntary stuff that we were exposed to, that's not our fault. But you can best believe that it is our responsibility to make the necessary adjustments, to mm. create the environments, to take on our own bad habits, to be responsible for all the things that we do wrong that contribute to the bad stuff in our marriage, if you will. And I'll talk in the context of marriage, but he was talking across the board as it mm. relates to success. But yeah. out, since we talk about marriage, I'll stay right there all the things that we do that are not conducive to marriage, like for real, we know the things that we bring to a marriage. As a matter of fact, I was talking to a couple this week and I was explaining to them that even if your spouse is 70% wrong and you're 30% wrong, that's 30% that you still got to deal with before you deal with their 70%. You feel me? So it's a lot taking ownership. So yeah, he was saying that there are some things that are not our fault that contributed to our current state, but it is definitely our responsibility to make the necessary adjustments as it relates to us and create the environment for a better marriage. Yep. True indeed. Yep. So what you say, um, uh, um, um, D? Nah, you forcing me to do something, so you need to tell me what I'm forced to do. Really. Okay. So so let me so let me set the the, the what we had. Uh, shouts out to Shannon Austin because he introduced the conversation and then we did we went in. Now, I have basic, very surface knowledge, right, Um, Mm -hmm. uh, D? But I'm going to ask you to go in deeper as it relates to this, and we'll all tie it it in later on. I realize that when we're born, we're born with a brain, right? And in our brain, uh, there are neurological pathways, if you will, that create a habit, if you will, right? And once we create the neurological habit, 
like we do it once, we do it twice, it feels good to us, and then it becomes a habit, and we do it over and over again, okay. such that, now, now correct me if I'm wrong, the, the frontal lobe or the frontal part of your brain, if you will, is the part where you process information, right? Loosely, yeah. I mean, that's, that's now, yeah, loosely, right? yeah. Loosely, okay, so you'll go in deeper, right? So okay. what happens when we create these uh, habits in our neurological pathways is that, um, it, it becomes second second nature, if you will. So mm. what would what we would normally have to do is when that information passes through the frontal lobe, it bypasses that. And whenever anything or stimuli happens, because we're so used to reacting to that stimuli in a particular way, mm -hmm. it now becomes second nature and we bypass the frontal lobe where we process, right? Now, I, I just want you to go in deeper right there and then we'll we'll go we'll go further as to what I'm getting to. So are we talking about second nature when you say go in right there? Yeah. Like how yeah. You get just, to that? just the whole thing, just the whole, you know, the, 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 okay. the you know, the, the neurological pathways, how habit is created. And mm -hmm. OK, are we going to change a habit? Let me know where I'm going. Are oh, we changing yeah, we the habit? We, we'll deal with how the habits are created first. First, OK. And then, and then we'll say how that's relative to, to marriage. And then we'll go and change the habit. All right. So a habit. Yep. You know, yep. you've heard, you know, people have heard the idea of doing something multiple times. Some people say for 21 days that creates a habit. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's interesting. It's cute. Right. Mm -hmm. A little bit deeper, though, like you see how my scalp is shiny like this It's smooth. <laughs> you see that? It's kind of smooth. And I'm exaggerating a little bit, but when children are born, their brains are kind of smooth. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, again, I'm exaggerating a bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. And as we get older, mm -hmm. you know, the brain itself, we're talking about the organ, if you want to call it, mm -hmm. uh, develops convolutions. Mm -hmm. And a long story short, and this is very loose. So the scientists, you don't need to inbox me. <laughs> <laughs> But what happens is as we continue to do things, it doesn't matter what the thing is, but let's just pick a habit. I don't know. OK, I was saying it to some people in, in, in person one time I was doing a, a series mm -hmm. and I said, if you notice, I've been here because I'm a behavior guy, behavioralist type mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, whenever I'm making a point to y'all and I come close to the edge of this podium, yep. I put my left foot forward. Yep. And you that's do what that. I do. I'm saying. Yeah, I go left. And so. <laughs> I have this pathway in my brain that is the put the left foot forward pathway. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what happens is, is theoretically, you know, the, there's, a, you know, this big chem chemical reaction. That's right, Isaiah. Mm -hmm. This big chemical reaction is taking place where in my brain, there's this pathway and, and something called a buta that's growing based on that particular mm -hmm. habit, the repetitive thing I do in this context. Mm -hmm. And so in theory, this Bhutan is getting bigger. Every time I do it, it gets bigger. Every time I do it, it gets bigger. And that pathway is well etched, almost mm -hmm. like when people walk on the grass and you shouldn't, then mm -hmm. there's nothing but dirt there because people mm -hmm. keep walking through mm -hmm. that same pathway mm -hmm. like that. Yes. And so since you said we're not going to talk about uh, the change yet, I'll just simply say the more you do it, the more uh, etched in your brain, actually, that habit becomes. And then the thing that that habit is stored in gets bigger or mm -hmm. more developed. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. then you do things by second nature. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, do, I've told do, do you I've told, have do you have the watch face there? Because I think like if you it's not so that there. was impromptu that that's fresh we get we we go fresh you want that just, was dope no I, I just thought i mean that made it click for me like when i saw the pathway and then all right here yeah. we go i'll get that i'll get i know that the up. people when they when the podcast is that they won't be able to hear it later no, on we but good. I'm just, I'm descriptive, though. yeah but that was fresh I, I always come up with something new but since you want me to I go love, i like go, that like if i use it once i don't want to see it again but all right here we go because you know, i was like what are we talking about here uh oh yes i just i just like that i listen so for those of you not able to see, I'm picking up a watch. I have a smart watch of some kind of Android Sony watch thing, right? Yeah. And then you can pop the face out of it. So I'm holding up the band, the wristband. Mm -hmm. And let's just call this like the band, something like a, I don't know, like a pathway. Yeah. You know, it, yep. it, in, in the pathway now yeah. comes, I'm going to stick the face in there. Like you see, there's nothing in the center here. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to stick the face in there. Right. And so yeah. when I stick the face in there, that's, that's, that's kind of like, 
like the habit that's forming and the bhutan that's associated with it right come on so before i put the watch face in like the the pathway was there that 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 shell of a yeah. of a of a wristband was there but now i got this habit slick stick it in there and yeah. now the face is kind of like this this habit in the bhutan that's kind of growing yes right? and so as long as I continue on this path, this this watch face or this habit is going to be in place. The bhutan is going to get bigger Bigger. and it's going to be well established, firmly established. Right. And so what we want to do sometimes, depending on what we're talking about, we may want to knock this this face back out. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to talk about that at this moment. Right. And so what happens is as you continue to do that sort of habit thing, it becomes second nature. Mm-hmm. What I was telling Quest, like in my context, this, you know, I got a couple of people that don't realize, like, even though I've told them, do not hit me. Yeah. Like, don't hit me. I'm yeah. not testy. Like, I'm not on edge. But I got training, Officer Craig. I know you got duty. Yeah. I got training. Yeah. And and tree's supposed to have self-control and all of that. But yes. when when that getting hit thing or that sneaking up on me thinking you're being funny thing, kind of, yeah. you know, you're giggling. Yeah. When it reaches a certain stage in my psyche, yep. then I have a reaction. And it's not it's not like a, a snap, like something happens to me. But I have Absolutely. a reaction that deals with what I perceive to be a threat. Absolutely. So don't, like, don't run up on me and smack me in my head. Like, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Like, don't run up on me and punch me in my in my in my uh, kidney yeah. and think, oh, that's so funny. Because what happens next, it's not a reaction. It's second nature. Nature. From- it's been trained in. Don't grab my neck because what happens it. after that is second nature. Second nature. That's I'm right. Not saying I can't control it, True. but before I control it, you might get knocked out. Yeah. I don't mean by hitting you. I'm talking about other second ways nature. that I've learned to neutralize the threat. So that's I what I'm trying to it. say. That's called second nature. I love and it. So this let's is... call it whatever Quest is about to say. Okay. Consider, consider the second nature damage. I love. I love it because here's the reason why the whole fault and responsibility thing is so crucial, number one. And then number two, more importantly, here's here, here's why this sinks into this so sweetly, right? Mm-hmm. Some of us in our marriages, because of what you were exposed to or uh-huh. what you experienced, uh-huh. right? And you've experienced it consistently. What you've developed in your neurological pathway is a, was it a Bhutan? Right. Something like that. Yeah. Right. Or this habit. And every time that that thing happens in your marriage or your spouse does that particular thing, it because you've done it consistently and created this thing in your neurological pathway. Now you respond second nature. And the funny thing about it is the way that you respond in second nature is not conducive to what you are trying to build in terms of marriage. You want peace. You want a loving household. You yeah. want things to be amicably taken care of between you and your spouse. You yeah. want to be able to communicate. But the ways that you were responding as it relates to your past, the way that you were, whatever, that developed that that habit in your neurological pathway, you now bypass the frontal lobe, like you said before, and now it's second nature. And you're wanting to do something different. I don't know why, uh, 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 um, D, but my mind goes to Paul. That which I want to do, I don't do. And the thing that I don't want to do is the very thing that I do. It brings a whole new meaning to the text that says, whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. Or, yeah. or like your man Vanderhorst says, it's not what you think you are, yeah. but what you think you yeah. are, right? Yeah. yeah. So you said, you said, yeah. I, I need, if, yeah. I, I know people are looking at it like, yo, these dudes still got cassettes. I still got the tape where he said it. Yeah. I, I just, I just need that. However, you change that to digital. I need you to do that and send it on over. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but here's the thing that's most important. You said that that thing that bouillon gets bigger and bigger. Go ahead. Is it bouillon? I'm thinking of gold. Is it buta gets bigger and bigger and bigger because it's being fed this behavior, this second nature behavior over and over again. What I realize or I know is that something that's living will continue to grow if you feed it. Yes. So now what we want to do now, D, is talk about the switch now. 
as it relates to what's going on in the brain, right? Because yeah. I know if you stop feeding something, it will die. Atrophy, yeah. Right? It will get atrophy, right? So yeah. so it's kind of like the time that I snapped my Achilles. I had to wear a cast for six weeks and yeah. then a boot for another six weeks and one leg wasn't looking like the other leg. Bye-bye calf muscle. <laughs> Bye-bye calf muscle. So yeah. if you can for me, D, let's go deeper into that now yeah. as it relates from the neurological perspective. Information changes situations. This is the reason yeah. why I wanted to get this across today. Because I think we're going to help some folk make some sw- some uh, adjustments today. But go ahead. All right. Big up to Kawami Sabbath Child. Let me give you an, a, one more example of the second nature. So we were at, we were in the churchyard in Trenchtown recently, Kawami. Mm-hmm. And, you know, back to the habit and second nature. Something tells me now I need to train my second nature a little better. Mm-hmm. Right. Because somebody, I won't say who, but one of our friends put that that same friend for whatever reason, thought it was a good idea. Simone, Simone was standing there, but the friend came behind me and put, I didn't know what it was mm-hmm. in my lower back. Mm-hmm. And I felt the pressure of it. Mm-hmm. And I waited a second and it didn't move. And then I, I did something. And when I grabbed what it was, it turned out to be the person's neck because dumb sum put the, the, the head, put the top of the head on mm-hmm. my lower back. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a limb. Like, so if it was a limb, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But when I grabbed, bro, it wasn't nice yeah. because it, it was the person's head. So the part I grabbed happened to be here. Yep. Yep. If it was a, a wrist or arm, I would have dragged it around, but it was a head. Like, why would you do that? So, but now for me now, I, I realize. wait a minute. If wifey's there, she's not going to just let something happen. Retrain your second nature. Don't Mm -hmm. go crazy because you almost hurt Mm -hmm. the person's neck, even though it was a a silly thing. So now I have to think, is second nature good in in, in some cases, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we do a a retraining of second nature? Now, Quest and I talked about it recently where sometimes you need supernatural and natural and sometimes you just need supernatural natural absolutely yep. so depending on what we're talking about let's just go with natural at this point right mm-hmm. so in the same way that you develop a habit mm-hmm. there are at least two ways I, i'd like to talk about to to, to kind of change them so mm-hmm. sometimes you got brute force of will mm-hmm. you know you just say you know what i always turn my left foot forward on the pulpit or whatever I'm on, mm-hmm. I'm going to just today, I'm just going to grit my teeth. And whenever I feel myself wanting to kind of get close to the edge and not fall over, I'm going to put my right foot forward. Mm-hmm. So I do that and then I do it again and then I do it again. And then there's a chemical reaction. G- gamma amino butric acid mm-hmm. kind of helps mm-hmm. facilitate the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what happens is if, if the pathway and the buta is like, say, over here on the left, whatever mm-hmm. that means, you know, mm-hmm. but 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 now I'm doing something different in that same context. I'm saying specific yep. context yep. and my brain begins to develop a different route or route, mm-hmm. a different path. Yep. Right. And yep. so what happens is the more I do that, yep. then the less love this pathway gets where I was putting the left foot forward. Yep. And, and the more I do that become, it it gets more etched chemically in the convolution of the brain Mm -hmm. and that pathway gets stronger and that habit gets stronger. Okay. And, and correspondingly or in contrast, the Mm -hmm. other one, because we're talking about in the same context, not something in random, we're talking about the left foot, right foot forward thing. The other one, they ain't getting no love. Yeah, and no. so it begins to atrophy. Yeah. Let, now, pause. Pause. Yeah. pause. Um, I don't know if she's on the podcast or listening today, yeah. but shots out to Rochelle T. Parks, your health motivator. When sure. I was working out, she yeah. said to me that Quest, if you want to get to the goal, you got to yeah. pass through the tunnel of pain. Uh, and I, I'm saying that because I want to ask this question. Yeah. Is that transformation that you're talking about from making that switch from where you were and that habit to creating that new pathway, is that an easy process? It depends on the kind of thing we're talking about, because if you want to speak spiritually and chemically. Okay. Let's, 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 let's let's put it out there. Okay. There there is something that you are doing in your marriage over and over again. You know it, you know that it's a problem for you. You know that you keep doing it. You know that you keep bringing it to your marriage. You know you keep responding to this situation the same yeah. way. And and for whatever reason, you, you can't change it. I'm talking about those kind of things. 
Okay, so let's go simple to more complex. So the habit thing I told you, mm -hmm. yes, it takes a lot to change a habit, but it can be done. I'll talk about part of the how to be done in a second. But there are at least two kinds of ways that kinds of types of things that people do. And right. I'm doing it loosely because we don't have that kind of time. That's, time. That's right. But there in the Bible, there are sins that are committed a, 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 a outside the body. And, and there, once there are against. sins that are committed against yeah. the body. Yeah, the on. ones against the body are, are more complex. Let's just yep. call it that. OK, yep. Yep. it's not a matter of what time do I get up in the morning versus what time do I not get up? Right. We're talking about some next level stuff yes. like uh, yelling and, and screaming and shouting, which is foul, gossiping, which is foul, lying with lying lips, which are an abomination. That's foul. Got it. Right. But that's outside of the body. Right. technically. Right. But then right. there's like immorality. Mm -hmm. And immorality is like sexual discretion. Have y'all watched the news lately? So yeah. like sexual discretion is committed against the body. And yeah. then there are variant forms of it where it's real twisted. I'm not going to get into those. Yeah, yeah we, I know what that is. But there's all kind of sick stuff we do sexually. Yeah. That's on some next level, not just an addiction, but next level. Oh, did I say addiction? So now let's make it. Oh, wow. Natural quest. Yep. On yep. the natural side, if you have, to, if you were to have two categories, you have the kind where it's just left foot versus right foot. Yep. No yep. big thing. You just make a new habit. We can learn yep. how to do that. Yep. But then there are chemical addictions yep. that also facilitate bad habits. Mm -hmm. So if I have a chemical addiction to say marijuana or crack cocaine or yep. drinking liquor of some kind or, yep. or whatever, yep. now what is happening? Let's call it nicotine. I'm smoking. I'm smoking cigarettes. Now, um, now what happens is, and, and again, this is loose. Let's just yeah. imagine that there are neuroreceptor sites, right? Besides yeah. the habit thing yeah. that I described. Yeah. So you got two of them. I'm making this up. You got two of them. You mm -hmm. hit that nicotine, you smoke it, you like it. For whatever yeah. the reason is, you do it now. And let's just say now we got this chemical reaction. When yeah. you hit it, you like it. Four. Come on. Now Come you got on. four, theoretically. Yeah. But yep. what's happening, Quest, it's not just a habit anymore where you're where you're just so accustomed to it. It becomes second nature. Mm -hmm. Now you have a chemical process that's requiring you mm -hmm. to do what? Hit so the cigarette yep. again. Why? Because you got four. Ba oh, I did it again. Six of them now. Pause. It's funny you should say that because to, to this very day, even though I don't smoke, I still have that old fixation. I don't Can smoke anymore, but I still got the old fixation. That's Can you crazy. imagine? Imagine. So, so yep. what happens is now this is why certain kinds of habits are broken through brute force, maybe prayer and other habits. Uh, when you're breaking them, you go through withdrawals. Yep. I'm talking about real chemical withdrawals. Yep. Look it up. Yep. That's because you have a chemical thing that's happening besides the other one that's just oh, that's a habit. Nice. You've got something that's literally requiring you. That's why people start getting the shakes. Like when we were young, and we had what we call dope fiends. Yep. You know, we used to see the vials on the street and the needles when we were young. When you and I were young, we used to look down. I don't even remember that. We yep. would look down and see the joints on the on the ground, yep. the orange tops, and yep. then the little joints from the crack. Yep, the caps. Yeah, yeah, the caps. Yeah. So, you know, that is what's creating the yeah. need to yep. do the yeah. wrong thing in that case. Right. That's why they knock you over the head. Do whatever they had to do to get what they had to get because their body required, their brain required it of them. Yep. So now you got two levels of problems. Yep. But so let's, super, go ahead. No, no, no. I would say let, 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 let's move towards the difficulty because that's the- Okay, the, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we are on that next level of difficulty. Now, uh, you and I, Quest, are, are, are believers in needing help externally. Yeah. God's help in this yeah. case. Yeah. And so, yes, you can get counseling and it's necessary sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Certain kinds of habits can be changed or altered or modified based on behavioral modification, based on all kinds of other things. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there are those next level things that require supernatural help, mm -hmm. help from God. Mm -hmm. So one one of the ways that people can change, you know, apart from the help from God, we I don't you know, we may come to that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's habit stacking. And then what I was telling Quest, like on on like like if you want to like if you want to, you know, like brush your teeth at seven, but you too nasty to brush your teeth. And <laughs> but you but you listen to the radio at seven all the time. Right. Yeah. 
yep. and you just want to kind of get into the brushing your teeth at seven. That's right. And instead of listening to the radio at the table, that thing bring you it in the bathroom. Control, Come on, just bring the radio to the bathroom, right? And tell okay. yourself that first time that every time I bring the radio in the bathroom at this time, that's mm-hmm. the show I like to listen to. I'm going to brush my teeth. Yeah. And so you're stacking the habit that you're trying to form with the habit that's already established. established. That's you right. Stack them. You can do it multiple times. Yep. And now you've associated a good thing with something less desirable. And then the habit is the bad habit is broken. The good habit is established. Bing on. Bang on. Pause. Yeah. This is a dope spot right here. Just yeah. give me of an example of a habit that we already have in marriage. That may be a good habit. And then a habit that we're trying to form. Give me a dope example, if you can, of how to stack habits in marriage or to create those, you know what I'm saying? As it relates to the way that we, that those neurological things take place. Yep. Okay. Well, let's just say you're one of those guys. I'm going to say guys, cause I'm a guy that, that does not compliment your wife often mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. But you do come home at six o'clock every day. Yes, indeed. Right. It's a habit because for whatever reason you have this incentive to get home at six o'clock. Mm-hmm. Right. So, cause guys, a lot of guys are regimented, even the ones that are kind of just living here. Mm-hmm. Right. But you get home at six o'clock, you're like, ding, wait a minute, it's six o'clock. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see my wife. Mm-hmm. Ding, mm-hmm. compliment her. Yep. So the ding. habit that's already established is getting home at six. If that's your case, I just Eight. made it up because Quest yep. just asked me and I made it up. No, that's, right? that's dope though. But it's yeah. Pavlovian because if you look it up, Pavlov's dog, yep. Pavlov's dog, Yep. Ring, ring, the the bell. ring the bell. Ring the, the bell. Dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> because after the bell was rung, then salivate. the food would come. Yep. And dogs salivate when they're oh, ready to dude, eat. You helping some dudes <laughs> out right now. <laughs> food yep. comes ready to eat. So now you're stacking the habit of uh, complimenting your wife or husband, ladies. With something you already do, it's established getting home at six. So all really you need is to kind of a few times say, oh, it's six o'clock. I'm home. Compliment. And it'll be it'll be stuck in there in a moment. It it don't even take that much after that. Pause. (laughs) Lovely. Listen, so 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 some of you fellas. It, 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 this would be a good idea for you and not and, and, and uh, we're giving you the background as to why it happens the way that it happens so uh, one good thing is to find out what your wife's love language is yeah and double stack that you understand double imagine stack. if her imagine and i'm just using this one as 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 example because this is where you went you come home every day at six o'clock right yeah. or you're going yeah. to pick her uh, maybe you pick her up from work on the way there pick up a gift it might be every wednesday Pick up a gift. It might be a flower. It might be because her love, let's say her love language is gifts. Pick yeah. up a flower. Pick up a yeah. keychain. She don't care what it is. She just liked the fact that you brought her a gift because you thought about her. No wow. fun. And you win. Win. You win. All right. So, yeah. so as we were talking before, D, let's move to the act because we like to give folks some practical stuff because there's some marriages that are going through some changes. They're doing some stuff right now. They have no idea how to change it. They've been trying to change it. Let's give them some understanding. Now, I know that the switch in some instances is not easy and it's more difficult, I believe, in more times yeah. than it isn't as it relates to making the changes in marriage. Let's talk yeah. to, the, let, let, let's talk to the, 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 the switch now, yep, or creating the new pathway. We spoke about, you know what I'm saying, it before, but yeah, let's go in about how to yeah. make the switch now. Yeah, 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 you may need to get a slip of paper quest or your yeah. device or whatever and yeah. identify what the, the negatives are that you are culpable for mm-hmm. and the positives, like what you need to be doing instead. Right. And then and, and, and put it on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. What do I need to be doing? It may be a negative, like stop doing X, Y, Z, like stop. When my wife is sharing a uh, difficulty that she has, stop looking on my cell phone. Mm-hmm. Or when my husband is telling about some difficulty he had, stop mm-hmm. saying silly stuff. And I'm about, I'm about to say no disrespect, Quest, but I'm not sure if I'm being disrespectful, yes or no. Yeah, no this one I don't like. This is a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. You dudes are weak yeah. because y'all can't carry children. It would break you. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Newsflash. Uh, yeah. Let's see. God made women biologically suited for that. Right. Yep. 
right? Absolutely. So it's not for me to try to identify with childbirth because, because it didn't make us for that. A, 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 any more than the the converse is true for whatever yeah, it is it. that men have. I love you. You, you, you. you might get some hate mail, but it's all but right. I'm not really too concerned about that because it's true biologically. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have a womb. I don't have fallopian tubes. I don't have the I don't have the chemical structure to support. I don't have the physical structure to support it. Yeah. So to say that dudes are weak because they can't carry a baby is actually kind of silly. That's yeah. almost like saying women are weak because they don't have whatever pre reproductive parts we have. That's but right. That's obvious because we're not the same. Right. You don't compare those because yeah, well, that, biologically they they don't jive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so and so if 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 I'm saying to my wife, this has never happened. I'm saying to my wife, boy, I had a hard day. Boy, mm -hmm. at least you didn't have to carry a baby. Mm -hmm. Maybe she would want to alter her habit and not say at least you didn't have to carry a baby as yeah. an example. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? No doubt. And, and and let let the guy breathe a little bit and share whatever he's sharing without now all of a sudden identifying an issue that you have to sort of compare or contrast with the problem that he's sharing because now he feels devalued as an example. Yo. Because it's not really the thing that we're talking about. We're talking about the effects of the thing. Yep, yep. You know, yep. you can't be that tender that, you know, that would hurt your feelings. But when you think about it, it's like, oh, wait a minute, is she devaluing me? Yeah. yeah. We got a few seconds. We're going over, over. Okay. Seconds, so, literally. So. So, 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 so what I want everybody to realize the, 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 the main crux of this whole situation is to get everybody to understand your behaviors as yeah. you operate in your marriage and where they come from. You yeah. want to change that behavior? Because you got to understand, the, 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 the Bible says it best, whatever a man thinketh, so is he, right? Yeah. It's not what a man thinks he is, but what he thinks he is. So he what he's thinking, he, that's yep, what he is. That's what he's developing. E says it another way. E says, wherever your mind goes, your energy flows, energy flows where? right? Your actions ain't too far behind it. What am I saying? It's not an easy process for you to stop doing the thing that you know is not conducive to creating a loving atmosphere for your marriage, yeah. a, a cooperative atmosphere for your, for your marriage. You, you understand what I'm saying? And it's going yeah. to take you to stop being who you are. You're going to, first and foremost, admit that you got a problem. Yeah, we're going through them 12 steps, ain't it? Yep. Oh boy. Admit, admit that 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 you are angry. Admit that you are uh um uh, um uh, like for real. Sometimes you're just not cooperative. Admit that you are argumentative. Admit that you always have to have the last word. Admit that you are not agreeable. Whatever you whatever your thing is, admit it. You to know, that own self be true. Oh, come on. Come on, he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Be, yeah. And this is the reason why I'm always saying, D, you can't operate in his truth or her truth. You have right. to operate in the truth. Yeah. Your truth is your truth. But the question is, is your truth aligned with the truth, right? right. And the truth of the matter is you do talk too doggone much. You do need the last word. You right. know what I'm saying? You, you're right. not agreeable. So that's the first part about it. And, and that's what's happening in the, in the mind is, is, is accepting that fact and then making a conscious effort. Every time you catch yourself being angry, if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. Sit down somewhere and yeah, keep quiet. Just press pause. Just press, no, pause. just press pause and redirect. And if you do it once, then you can do it twice. Yeah. If you do it twice, you can do it six times. If you can do it six times, you can do it 30 times. Yeah. And then that old habit that you were uh, 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 exhibiting, that neurological piece you know, in your pathway that was yeah. created, you will now stop feeding and it will become atrophied. And then the, 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 the proper behavior will take place. So yeah, okay. man. Yeah, that's if, we, if, if we had time, we would give the real steps, full steps, at least some steps, but- you know, this is sizzle, not steak. It's just a matter of now your awareness. Oh, yeah. Let's call it an awareness campaign. Yeah. Today's program is an awareness campaign. Yeah. And uh, we've said enough that at least you can research how to how to how to develop good habits, how to break bad ones. Yeah, no and, doubt. Uh, support your marriage, man. So whether yep. cultivated or inherited, we didn't get into that. Maybe we have to do that another time mm -hmm. about the difference and how they all relate. Cultivated and inherited tendencies or inclinations. Yeah, no but doubt. Whatever the case. There's a way to break them. You've heard of breaking the cycle. Mm -hmm. There's only a cycle if you've inherited a thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's yeah. there are ways of doing this 
uh, with God's help and sometimes necessarily with uh, counseling and therapy. Yeah, no doubt, yeah. man. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, like like yeah. always, D, man, if you like the, the information, do me a favor. Subscribe yeah. to the podcast on iTunes, you know what I'm saying, or any of our other platforms, man. And um, and uh, yeah, man, leave us a review. You feel yeah. me? We need them. We're trying to break that 100 mark. Word up. All right, y'all. Stay focused. Peace. All right, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, oh you already know, man. Let, 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 let me just let me just go through them real quick. Shouts out to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Hashtag I love me some pews. Jackie pews, pews is on. Man. Yep. Ayana, big shots out to her and Charles, man. Rolando, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Jess James Hicks, Tony Font, Tony Fontana. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Ronnie Jacks, Delroy, Karen is in. Um, D. Karen is is is, is uh, in the mix today. Yep. Karen Pilgrim. Oh, Pilgrim. Yeah, that's yep. our girl, man. Yep. 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 Isaiah. She grown though. Does she grown though? Yeah. Yeah. Kiwa music. I, yo. Yeah, man. That's my man. That's my man. Sabbath child, man. Oh yeah, man. Big time, Bridget. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. So shouts out to them, man. Daniel Pate, man. Craig, Officer Craig, out of Philly. Yeah. Kyla Olovencia. Yeah, big yeah. shit. Yep. Delroy yeah. Smith, Rambo, big up yourself. Oh, come on, kid. Coach Frank was in the building today, too, um, um, D. Yeah, I see yep. that. Yep, yep. D. Pate, yep. Nicole Foundation. Big yeah. up Nicole Davis. Yep. You already know. Yep. Ben Cook. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to all them peoples, man, who stopped by, man. Yeah, man. Africa came in, man. Yep. Yeah, I saw Africa early on, man. And you know what I'm saying? And everybody else that was watching as well. Word yeah. up. Yeah, shout out. And of out course, to Jess, you may have said it, but I may have missed it. Jess James Hicks. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, God first in all things. Pray, pray, pray. Yeah, yeah no good. doubt. Yep. So, yeah, man, you already know what it is, man. Shouts out to everybody who's listening. Yeah, do us a favor, man, for real, for real. Subscribe to the um, podcast. I don't care if you're on Google Play, you can get it there. If you got a, a Samsung or Android phone, if you want, uh, if you got an iPhone, you can get it on the uh, little podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, icon on your iPhone. Um, where are we on? Uh, TuneIn as well? We on everything, man. We on Blueberry. We on TuneIn. We on iHeartRadio. Yeah. We on, uh, what's yeah. the joint in, in, in uh, Stitcher? Oh, I mean, Stitcher. All over the place, B. Like, yep. Yep. Oh. Whatever your, your platform is. Whatever man, you B. on, like, help. Yep. Yep. Subscribe to the podcast, man. Go by, leave us a review um, so we can get these numbers up, man. Yo, yeah. Much thanks to y'all, man. Love yes. y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, yep. So we can go in, man. Let's go in and get this post-production work done. Man. Okay, cousin. Yep. What happened to peace? Peace.